What's going on dudes, it is Colossalus here, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we will, we will be taking a look at Arthas Menethel. He has recently received a lot of changes as he was in a really bad spot before them. And today we shall see if there are enough to bring the king to his throne. Glory to the scourge. Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves! On the Sky Temple map today. At level 1 we will be picking up Eternal Hunger. I'm going to be explaining that in a second. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little intro I did for uh, for Arthas. Um, hopefully my camera is not going to be too dark. What I'm going to do is get this window. Right. So the trait of uh, of Arthas it is, is going to be Frostmorn Hungers. Activate to make your basic attack strike immediately. Uh, do 100% increased damage and restore 30 mana. At level one, we picked up an enhancement to that, which is called Eternal Hunger. It, what it does, it, using a Frostmorn Hungers on an enemy hero, permanently increases the mana it restores by four up to 40. When you reach those 10 stacks of hitting heroes, you will also be increasing its, its overall damage of this basic attack that you're that, no, that you're doing with it uh, by 25%. Super, super good. Q ability is called a Death Coil. It's actually a very, very um, unique ability, per se. Holy crap, the enemy Li Ming going for... Uh, that's Chromie right there. Dead. Baby, no! No! We didn't kill her. We didn't kill her. It's a very unique ability. What it does, uh, I can target on myself to heal myself, or I can actually do, or I can actually um, target on somebody uh, to uh, to deal that to deal that damage to them. It's very, very, um, very, very unique. Uh, you know, designed to heal the storm. And today we will be going for uh, for a coil build. Uh, that's what I decided to do before this video. Nope. Sorry. Uh, Chromie is going to be a very nice target to us because just because um, she actually stays um, stays still when she's casting her abilities. So right there, I tried to predict where she's going. I didn't actually get that, but um, uh, there's a there's a lot of damage coming from my girlfriend. My, my girlfriend's actually overextending for that kill, and she will be taken out by the towers. Baby, you have to be careful. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go middle. To try to grab that for our friendly team. Our W ability, on the other on the other hand, is called Howling Blast. What I basically do is in this uh, in this radius around us, I can throw out uh, this little circle that if I hit somebody with it, um, is going to root them. No, deal some damage and also root them. Ouch! Uh, I am uh, out of my sippy, and we don't have a support, which could be problematic. Baby, Li Ming, please kill that Li Ming. Baby! Thank you. Anyway, um, and then we have our E ability, which is called um, Frozen Tempest. Frozen Tempest will, what, it, what it's going to do is, 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 is going to activate like a kind of a burning effect, a burning rage effect around you. I'm going to wait mid to try to get this chromie. Uh, yeah, so kind of like burning rage effect, like just a little just a little stronger. And what it also does, it is also going to um, uh, to kind of slow enemies up to 30. You know, like the longer they stay in, in this area right here, uh, the, the more damage they'll be taken. Uh, there's a root on the enemy Liming, dealing a lot of damage. Uh, I will sponge that. Like this, she's overextending way too much. Baby, just buck it up. They're trying to bait you in. Yeah. So those are his abilities. Um, he has recently been changed. You know, like he was just just, just hundred percent reworked. Uh, by the way, on level four, we did pick up Death Lord. Uh, this is going to reduce the the uh, the cooldown of our coil, of our Q, um, by two, and also uh, its range by twenty five percent. Very very good. Uh, very very good, uh, good upgrade. Uh, for the later stages of the game, I have to be careful of the damage coming from the enemy. Chromie looks like uh, I think her and Li Meng did buck it up completely. So uh, maybe I, I maybe I can try to gank over here. Try to take out this this camp as soon as I possibly can. On this level range, we're gonna go for Immortal Coil. What it, what it does is it's gonna make my my coil always heal me. Uh, what what is meant by that?
Okay. I overextended for that kill. Did some damage. Oh, life is complete. We killed Chromie. Now my girlfriend is in a little bit, a little bit trouble, but she will be fine with uh, with the help of uh, Abby Hat. <laughs> that was just such a not. That was such a not a good move at all. I just overextended for that kill. I still thought that they were fighting over the bottom shrine. Um, that's why. Watch out, baby. Watch out for Murky. Uh, on my way to the bottom shrine to help this Sagara, looks like she will. Uh, she will be asking for some assistance. They are level. They, they are a man down. Therefore. It should be a really easy fight for us, especially if we all collapse on this at the same time. Uh, enemy Li Ming coming in, uh, taking a lot of damage from um, from Abathur Mines. There was a kill on the enemy uh, Li Ming coming in with, uh, coming in to kill this Chromie. Yeah, he can do all the damage you basically want, baby girl. All the damage you want. As you can see, I'm slowing her down, basically just applying all the crowd control in the world. Uh, oh my god, okay, she's in trouble, she's in trouble. There's a root coming out on the enemy Dibbles, I'm uh, gonna heal myself with the coil, and we shall be fine in picking up a kill, actually a double kill, on the enemy Murky and enemy Dibbles. Super good! Um, so, early on in the stages of, of, um, of Heroes of the Storm, Arthas used to be a like a very high gank potential character. I'm gonna go as for summon Syndra Gosa on level 10. I'm gonna explain that what it did in a second. Uh, he used to roam around lanes, especially like like when when Butcher came out, and basically you know apply this route straight after the Butcher got his stun off. It was just super good, super good combo. Um, it was very prominent for a little bit, but then the Butcher got nerfed, and then you know like all the other skills. I don't I don't actually remember the names of the skills who were removed and and just. 100% changed, but I know some part of the combo was nerfed and it just became a re less relevant. On my way to that camp to help our friendlies. Anyway, what Cinderghost is going to do is going to send out this dragon that's going to deal a little bit of damage, but mainly it's going to slow for 3.5 seconds, dealing some okay damage, slowing um, enemies by 60% for 3.5 seconds. So again, some even some even some more crowd control. And also, it is going to disable all non-heroic, you know, basically units uh, for 20 seconds. This used to be 10 seconds. Chromie is going to be taken out by our friendly team. Looks like this is going to be it, though. Uh, no one else followed her. I'm going to just going to take this vision back. I heard Chu8 saying, you know, one of the one of the more competitive players, to say that. Um, Um, that uh, whoever whoever holds this the most, you know, in in the game, uh, will be more more likely to win the game. On my way to the Zagara, it looks like she will be taken out by uh, by a gang from the enemy team. Um, there's a root. Honestly, like this is this is just the, the damage I can do. So I'm gonna just back it up. Try to uh, avoid all the damage incoming. Honestly, I can be greedy into this. This is gonna be a slow on the enemy Chromi. And it's actually going to stop uh, Diablo from channeling. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to come in here. Maybe he's in this bush. No, he's not. Okay, uh, I was just greedy trying, trying to get that kill. That's fine. Um, on level 13, this is, this is actually one of your level ranges that's going to be like you will be able to choose something um, that's that's not coil uh, oriented. Uh, I think only your level 1 and 16 uh, and 13 will be able to do that for you. On my way to help our fr actually yeah to help our friendly team, uh, we should be able to gank this uh, bitch no problem. Um, I feel like on this other, I, I can go for a trailer frost. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for her to use her um, teleport like that and do all the damage we can possibly do along with Vala and my girlfriend playing some some mean Nova. Uh, somebody's in this bush. I don't know who it is, but I think oh I guess it's Chromie. She will be taken out. Oh my god no. There we go. Baby, I'm sorry, but I... I'm gonna try to get to you. Okay, okay. Should we get him? Should we get him? I'm going to the Diablo. Hi, Dibbles. Okay, I missed him. That's my fault. I'm gonna heal, heal myself. I don't know why this Abathur is on me still. Um, it's been like that for, for, for a little bit. 
Let's get him off, the, off his mount. Nope. Not following that. And it looks like the enemy Abathur is in our vision. Um, I'm not. I'm not one of these characters who can who can hunt him easily. Therefore, um, I'm not going to pursue that. Not going to be. Not, not going to appear on the what the fuck moments. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, enemy Chromie kind of overextending a little bit. And if she does, oh my god! Please come. Hi, Dibbles. Bye, Dibbles. There's Murky. Oh, I missed that again. Baby, you gotta be careful. Baby, you gotta be careful. Hi, Li Meng. I got... Um... Oh, I should have, I should have uh, activated that earlier. My, my E. Uh, just because my E provides a slow, therefore like she would not be able to escape me. Anyway, we should deal with the monstrosity up in the top lane as fast as we possibly can. Especially that there are no objectives on the map. Whenever there are no, wherever, whenever there are no objectives on the map, you should just focus on whatever, uh, whatever is actually, you know, uh, happening on the map. So I'm gonna try to slow it down. I am tanking a whole minion wave, but this, but this is exactly what I want to do. I want to tank this minion wave so our friendly minion wave can come in and clean up the house. It looks like the friendly team is fighting in the middle. Uh, this Cinder Ghost might be getting some work done, so I'm just gonna throw it down here. It is going to hit the enemy Li Meng. Actually, take out the enemy Chromi, who was a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna root Dibbles in place. And holy shit, there we go. Uh, we actually just finished our um, our uh, quest talent, our ten hits. Uh, you know, it was actually a pretty long time for ten hits. I should be get. I should got that done in about like five minutes, to be honest with you guys. Anyway, on the seven we're gonna go for embrace death. I still haven't explained what what I chose in level seven today. Holy shit! They just raped that uh, that thing, that um, copy. We should all be on the same place, even though we're, we're level sixty. I'm just gonna kind of like maybe chill the fuck out and see what the friendly team wants to do. Uh, looks like they just want to take middle. So I'm I'm just gonna honestly I'm just gonna head to middle. Hopefully one of them is gonna be stupid. They're gonna make a mistake and split uh, split away from the friendly team. Uh, right, so on level 7 I did pick up uh, Immortal Coil. What it does is it makes my coil always heal. So even if I deal damage to somebody, it was uh, it is always going to return some of the health back. Um, uh, the enemy team wants to collapse. I'm fine with that. This Chromie is a little bit out of position. I'm going to take her off her mount right here. Send out this. Hit, hit her with that. Actually get, get some slowing on. Oh, she's solo. Come on. She still tried to do some damage to me. Uh, this Dibbles is a little bit out of position. I'm gonna activate my E right here, get him, get him out of this fight, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, so the actual tooltip is um, you gain a healing effect of Death Call even when you use on enemies. If you damage enemy hero with it, you also heal for uh, for an ad additional hundred percent um, of the damage dealt. Super good, super good ability. Um, anyway, what I was gonna say is. You also, uh, when when using that, you also have it to take into account that your projectile has to return. Oh, baby. He's dead, right? Yeah, um, we got him. That was good. I enjoyed that. I we killed Murky, which is who's going to get a full timer just because my girl, my girlfriend took out uh, the uh, the enemy egg. Uh, Chromie is a little bit out of position, I would say. I'm gonna activate my E right here to try to slow her down. We are able to take her out of the fight. Dibbles is pursuing this for no apparent reason. I'm gonna just keep slowing him down. Actually, this Li Meng is actually our priority here. I'm gonna root her in place and she's, she's gonna be taken out. Yes, there we go. She'll be taken out. Very good job, baby girl. Very good job, baby. I love you. I'm gonna use it right here to heal myself and my, my coil. And yeah, so uh, what I was gonna say before we killed Murky, uh, we, we before we tried to kill Murky. Oh hi. Come here, dead boss. Yeah, you, you, you see how much damage we are able to do. I mean, I'm gonna back it up because I have no mana right here. Actually, I'm gonna just help this uh, help this um, Vala to be to be quite honest with you. I can get some mana back with my Frostmore hungers. 
Anyway, yeah, so we have to take into consideration that if I hit somebody who's far away, so right, right there, I hit, I hit him, it has to travel back to me. So you have to take that uh, travel time into consideration when you're trying to heal yourself, you know, when you're, when you're uh, in, like, in a little bit of a um, like, you know, tense situation where you need some health immediately, you have to take that in into consideration. I'm going to get some mana back with our Frostmourne Hungers. I activate my E. Just deal, just deal some burning rage damage. Um, Art of playing, uh, Kel, not Kel'thas, but Arthas instead, uh, comes in with kind of like macroing when you p use your Frozen Tempest and also knowing the combo. I'm going to show you guys the combo in a second. Looks like the enemy team coming in right here. Now what I can do is I can do, I can just Cinderagosa very, very offensively here. Um, this Chromie is going to get slowed. I am going to get her just delete her from the enemy, uh, from the from the battlefield. Uh, uh, my girlfriend is actually got got taken out right here. What I'm going to try to do is going to try to do something of this. Root the enemy, Liam Megan place. Maybe she will be taken out by the friendly Abathur copy. Honestly, honestly, um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna mount up and try to get my my Q on him, uh, but I, don't think I won't be able to. Um, Enemy Murky is trying to pursue me, but uh, he won't be successful in doing so. Not a favorable trade. We kind of left our backline kind of standing there. It was, it was my fault partly because I'm a warrior. I'm supposed to peel for my friend the team. So it was a little bit, a little bit of my fault. On this sub range, we're going to go for anti-magic shell. Just because the enemy the team has um, has a lot of mages. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to walk in here, take that, that damage, and actually heal for a little bit. So what it does, it is actually going to 100% nullify the damage we take from any abilities for three seconds, and then heal us for 25% of the uh, of the amount taken. On my way to this Abathur, who is pushing this lane very, very like he's pushing it as as it, as you know as it is is, is his job. Uh, here he is, and I'm gonna just gonna take him out of this fight. Uh, again, at the beginning of the game, I said I'm not a character to hunt him, but you know when he's out of position and he burrows too too late, I will be able to take him out. On my way to this friendly team, I have three seconds up until my Cindragosa is off cooldown. So if I can predict where they will be going, I can definitely do some damage with it. Um, just dibbles. I'm actually out of position. I'm super out of position right here. Um, and I will be probably taken out by this enemy team. Yes, indeed. I will be doing so. Uh, my ma my anti-magic shell just came off, came off cooldown. Looks like my girlfriend will be in trouble too. This dibbles is actually doing a lot of damage to her and Zagara. Uh, enemy team collapsing, collapsing on our friendly team, and this Vala was doing a camp. People, please pay attention to your map. We were fighting, and if you see that you're you are out of position uh, for a fight, at least try to make your way over there. Don't be just like oh, fuck these guys. I'm not gonna help them. No, still go in, still do what you what you can do. And now she's pursuing this kill for no apparent reason. She might get it, you know, with the help of Abathur. Okay, she will get it. But again, this enemy team, like Li Ming right there, and then also Dibbles coming out from the top lane, might be uh, might be enough to take her out. Especially if this Li Ming, like you know, sits uh, there. You go. So there's Li Ming coming in with the damage. She won't be able to hit it, but just because um, the enemy Abathur did put, uh, sorry, the friendly Abathur did put uh, a mine over there. He put a mine over there too, um, which Li Ming, I think, made her mission to. Um, to walk into every single one of them. And I'm gonna keep explaining the talents on level 13. We picked up Trailer Frost. What it does is, um, if anybody is hit, um, basically, what I, what what happens is, um, when I cast my uh, my W, everybody caught in the circle and also to of uh, in the travel in the travel path of the circle will be um, rooted. The enemy team trying to collapse on us. I think they, they, they do not realize they see us. So I'm just gonna put my Cindergosa right over there, applying a lot of uh, a lot of damage here. Um, if they do turn around, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually nullify all the damage I'm taking from this um, Devil's ability and do all my damage to him, taking him out of the fight. It looks like my girlfriend will be taken out. I actually did not see what happened, so I'm sorry, baby, but I was I was um, I was busy killing people. Okay, it uh, looks like uh, my girlfriend is saying that the, the game was lagging. And I'm gonna come in here. Oh shit, I'm, I was actually way too low, too low of health for this.
There we go. Uh, we take out the enemy enemy Abathur monstrosity, uh, dealing the damage that I can. And there we go. Uh, yes, so that was our trail of frost. What also... Okay, the enemy team looks like they are making their way across. Okay, so I did take out, take out the enemy Chromie. Oh shit. So you saw there, um, the, the projectile from our Q took a lot of time to travel back to us. That's why I wasn't able to heal immediately. By the way, this Li Ming is going to be taken out. Diablo is going to be taken out too. Looks like the, our friend Diablo knows where he need, when he needs to activate his, uh, his evolution. Very good. Maybe you will be able to break the the law streak that I'm on right now. Maybe that's just maybe. Um, yes, we should be doing boss, but we don't we don't have anybody to tank it. It's only Abathur, Vala, and Nova. Um, no one to tank the boss. Go on, Jay. I'll be there in uh, 10 seconds, roughly. I mean, I'll, I'll spawn in 10 seconds, but we'll be there in about probably 15 to 20. Chromie making her way to the objective right now. Honestly, she, she should be our main target. She can do quite a lot of damage, and she, she is just super squishy. So when I get there, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use Sintragosa very, very offensively. Uh, the enemy Chromie starting to really pile away. Uh, okay. Maybe just you, you can take her out there for me. Okay, that, that's it. That's a kill. That's gonna be a kill. Enemy Chromie did not go for bye bye. Therefore, she won't be able to get out of dodge. Hello, hello. This devil is gonna get rooted, and there's a triple tap coming from my from my girlfriend. That's gonna secure a kill. Gonna, gonna actually block this damage coming from the enemy Li Ming, and we'll be all good in the hood again. I'm gonna actually activate my shield right here. Get the slow on this going, and we will be able to take her out with the tr another triple tap from my girlfriend. And honestly, we'll be just able to win the game from the objective itself. Very good game. Very good game. I did not explain what my Death Lord ability does, but no, not ability, but talent rather. But I will do that just now. You, you know, you guys know I always got you with the builds I'm, I'm coming up with. Honestly, I did not look at any kind of a website, no, no hot logs, no Heroes Nexus uh, for this build. I was just kind of like going in and trying to um, trying to come up with something on my own. And honestly, this might be the best build for Arthas at the moment. Uh, my, uh, baby, you, you play very well. I'm, I'm proud of you. I love you. Uh, the stats look pretty good. Um, the talents I actually want to see. So he went for pressurized gland. Okay, not not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we did die four times, which is the most in the friendly team. Again, I wasn't I wasn't as careful as I should be. Um, I'm still not you know not the the immortal tank that uh, that Arthas used to be back in the alpha, but he's definitely in a better spot. He's not in the best spot. I think Anubara Anubara got the longer uh, longer side of the stick. If you guys know what I mean, but without further talking, I'm just gonna go over the build again. Uh, so on level one, you wanna grab some more mana. Like he like when he when you activate your E ability, you're just super mana hungry, super super mana hungry. Uh, therefore, Eternal Hunger, what it's going to do, using Frostmore Hungers on an enemy hero permanently increases the mana it restores by 4. So the the original amount, the, you know, the normal amount is 30, the, therefore at the end, in, you know, in the end game, end game when you actually get the, the quest talent, uh, hopefully sooner ra rather than later, you'll be getting 70. Uh, when you get up to those 10 stacks, uh, you'll be getting some more damage for your Frostmore uh, when, you, uh, when you activate your D. Very good, very good. On level 4, I did go for Death Lord, uh, reducing the cooldown by 2 seconds and increasing its range by 25%. Uh, Immortal Coil will always heal you, that's on level 7, Immortal Coil. Basically, when I hit an enemy with it, it's going to return some... Uh... Alright, let's, let's read, read this. So, deals 164 damage to target enemy. Can be self-casted to heal, 
for 238 health. Right, so when you self cast on yourself, it's actually going to be a better heal, it's actually going to be a, a bigger heal than when you're dealing damage to somebody. So when, I guess, the, what they did here is like, you want to trade off the, the additional heal for dealing damage and healing yourself, I guess. It, it, like, it, it makes sense, it makes sense. Uh, so when it, when you hit with, when you hit somebody, you'll be getting 100% of the damage back to yourself. On level 10, we did go for Summon Cinder Ghost. I just love that. Uh, just because, honestly, the lore, if you guys ever seen the, the trailer for um, the Rise of the Red Lich King or some, don't quote me on that. I think it's Wrath of the Red Lich King. One of the expansions for WoW. When he summons summons the dragon himself, like he just flies over the valley. That's what I I don't know. I think that's just, just super epic. That's honestly why I I pick it. Army of the Dead is another choice. It kind of summons ghouls that you that you're able to sacrifice for you know for a little bit of health. A very very good for kind of a more of a tanky build. Maybe I should have just go, gone gone with that. But it looks like I think what I thought uh, my thought process was is that the enemy team had a lot of AOE. Therefore, my ghouls would have been just in really big trouble uh, as they were. On level 13, I did go for Trail of Frost. Increased uh, the Howling Blast range, and it will also root enemies on the way. Very, very good for some more crowd control. Keeping enemies still. Level 16, uh, by the way, I just gotta mention this. This uh, Trail of Frost is actually very good when you're ahead. So, when you get to level 13 and you're ahead of the enemy team, this is a very good pickup, just because it will, all, it will mostly be, be used to... Um, um, to chase enemies not you know not really to root them in place when they're uh, when they're chasing you it's really when you are chasing somebody on level 16 i went for embrace death that's the talent i did not explain to you guys while i was playing so death coil deals more damage when you're missing health so for every 10 percent of your uh, damage missing uh, or sorry of your health missing you'll be dealing 10 percent more damage with your uh, with your coil at the end this can become a pretty hefty damage very, very hefty damage. On level 20, we did go for anti-magic shell as we were facing off a, a Li Ming and uh, Murky and um, what's the other one? Diablo who went for lightning breath and Chromie. So that's a lot of ability damage come, coming my way. And what's anti-magic shell is going to do? Upon activation for three seconds, you'll be reducing all ability damage uh, just completely. You won't be taking any. It's kind of kind of OP with in the current meta. And you'll be healing for, for the 25% 25 of the damage taken. That's crazy. That's crazy, if you guys think about it. Anyway, this has been Arthas. I'm going to be going over one more build. Let me just get my sip. We'll be going over one more build for Arthas. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, as always... Uh, when you guys are going out there, when you guys are going, go achieve your dreams. Go for what you want. Put a sincere smile on your face and just go for it. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. But.